Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified when I post a new video. All right, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, beautiful artists. I have a very fitting New Year's painting for us. Um, really, this could be a celebration of any time of year. So we have really cute little champagne clink turning into a heart here. Not going to have a, another class before New Year's, so I figured I'd give you guys a really nice New Year's painting to try. So I have my three standard brushes here, uh, my big one inch square wash brush. I have a medium sized pointed brush and then I'm going to be using this detail brush today. I'm gonna get those in the water cup off the side of the screen. If you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you'll need to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. I'm going to be starting with just the background step today and I have just three colors for that. So I have black, ultramarine blue, and a bit of white. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. So very simple first step here. We're gonna grab our biggest brush, a little bit of water always on my brush uh, to help that paint go nice and smooth. Going to start with just some black. So that's just black with a little bit of water into it. And I'm going to now just come to my canvas and go up and down with my brush strokes. All right, up and down here, getting that paint filled into the canvas texture. Just like so, and you're gonna wanna bring your brush all the way off the canvas. All right, and just working our way across here. I'm gonna leave a few areas kind of like stripes of white that I'm going to come and fill in with blue here in just a minute. Kind of random, you don't want to go too stripey. We do want to have pretty dark colors with this background, although it is customizable. So you could certainly do, you know, like a red, or all blue or purple or green or whatever color you like, but I recommend keeping it on the darker side so that we can see our glasses. This is a pretty simple painting. There's not much to it, um, but that white is really everything that we add later for the glasses. So we're kind of making sure that our white is gonna be seen even as we fill in the background. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit and just sneak a little bit of white into my ultramarine blue here. And I'm going to go in those white areas that I left. And then you can also kind of go throughout the black too, but that just helps us get a little bit more vibrant of a blue there on the canvas than if we were to cover the black only. Okay, but then add some into the black as well. As you can see, that's very subtle, um, but that can make a nice kind of navy color too. Just a little, you know, winter magic. So it's just not a solid black background. Okay, and then just taking that same blue into my other areas. And looks like I need a little bit more blue actually. Sneak another little dollop. Okay. Nice, vibrant blue, just like so. You can kind of play around with the white and the black and the blue until you come up with a nice sort of abstract looking Campus. Maybe this is the night sky, maybe it is a wall with some light playing on it. That is up to your imagination. All right, just making sure it's not just solid black. 
little bit of something interesting in there. But nice, dark, solid background here. All filled in, just like so. Nice. All right. So once you've created a background that you are happy with, we're gonna go ahead and let this layer dry. And then we're gonna come back and add a whole bunch more. All right, that looks good. So I will see everyone in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back artists. I have a completely dry background and then I also got my two fresh colors here for the second part, which is just white and yellow. I rinsed my brushes very well and I got some fresh water at break as well. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. I'm going to grab my smallest brush now. What we're going to do is create our glasses shape. And I'm going to do this with a watered down white this is kind of like the first sketch and then we'll come in and add the champagne and then we'll come back and add the nice clean white glass later. But this first part is going to be pretty light. Okay, so not too strong of pigment. I'm going to start with an oval floating in midair about like so. And then I'm going to kind of come down a little bit of a curve, like so, there at the bottom. So there I have my first champagne flute shape. And then from right where the bottom of that oval is, I'm going to create another oval that touches it. And those are gonna be the glasses clinking together. And then the same idea, just like so. And your glasses may go off the edge, and that's fine. And in this case, it looks like one is a little bit bigger than the other, but maybe this is the one in front. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go with that. All right, just gonna adjust my shape a little bit down here so that I know it kind of curves out again that champagne flute shape. And as I fill in my champagne, I might make this one a little bit bigger. Just a little couple millimeters bigger. Well, I think even them out a little bit. Okay, so right now it's a big thick white line, but I'm gonna come in in just a second here with my champagne color. Okay, so just rinse that brush. And now also still watered down because we want a little bit of transparency. Going to just add a little bit of yellow into my white and get this really pretty champagne color. Okay, and here towards the bottom, I'm gonna have a curved line that comes up like so. Okay, because they're really splashing together. So those two curves are gonna come meet each other like so. And the heart shape is actually gonna kind of cross because this, this glass is uh, splashing up this way and this glass is splashing up the other way. So they're gonna meet there in the middle. But what I wanna do is kind of bring that curl up and around to meet the other one like so. Okay, and then we're just going to start kind of finessing that shape and going to be thickening that line a little bit. And we're also going to have sort of some splash marks with this champagne color as well. So thickening it up a little bit and then adding some nice splash details, okay? Just like so. Just a few little brush strokes building together here for that shape. And then here where the glasses meet, we're gonna have some nice splashes as well. And then once you get down into 
your champagne in the flute, you're gonna add a little bit more water. So you want this to be able to be slightly see-through and I may even grab my medium-sized brush for this. So I wanna have a little bit more coverage power. So I'm gonna bring that right to the edge of the glass there. Plenty of water so that I can get a little bit of transparency and see through that champagne. Okay, a little bit of water until it's thinned out, almost like watercolors. Acrylic paint is very versatile in that way. Okay, I like that. And then same idea over here. It also helps once we add our white shine to have a nice see-through yellow champagne color so that we can see some contrast there too. So that is important. The transparency element is definitely important. If you went too heavy with your yellow, you may be able to just take some black and blue and go over it again, let it dry in between, but it's always good to watch the tutorial first, get a little bit ahead before you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's always harder to clean things up than it is just to get them correct the first time or as correct as possible. There's no such thing as perfection, always gotta remember. Okay, that looks really pretty. I'm going to do just a few more splash marks with my small brush. I'm just kind of jumping around here, but adjust your shape as needed. A little bit of splashiness, just like so, thickening up that heart shape. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of white so bring that into that top part too. Since we have a little bit less transparency up there. A little bit of just color variation. Okay. It's looking pretty cute. Okay, down into my champagne again. I'm going to add some bubbles. Very important element of this. So I'm still gonna be using my small brush and just some nice little white dots all throughout our little drink here. You can have lots of dots here at the top, especially the effervescence there. A little bit of a drip. Sometimes when you get a drip, you can kind of pull it up with a clean brush, like so. It's gonna clean up around that a tiny bit. And add another dot. There we go. Somewhat circular with our shapes there. And we can even have some bubbles in the glass itself, coming from the top part and just adding that whole fizzy feeling. Warm, fuzzy, fizzy feeling. I love drinking champagne. It's very much just like a celebratory drink for me. So I like to drink it on the holidays and then just also like milestones and my birthday. So there's definitely a really good positive association that I have with champagne or if you're non-alcoholic, maybe this is a sparkling cider. I'm not much of a drinker, but I do love a little sip of champagne <laughs> every now and then. I look forward to sipping some champagne when I get to the 5,000 subscribers, uh, which will probably happen in this new year in January. So thank you so much for being here. If you have subscribed, it's fun to see my channel grow to this nice kind of medium size uh, in just two years. Pretty cool to have thousands of painting students <laughs> watching from all over the world. 
taken kitchen tables by storm. <laughs> All right, little sparkles in the glass as well. Very, very pretty. And then going to bring some of our bubbles into the heart as well and sort of around that shape for a little fizzy heart. My guess is that couples will be doing this painting. You can also do it with your son or daughter or whoever in your life you love. A little serendipitous moment of the splash creating that heart shape. Very cute. Okay, looking good. Very simple, not much to be done really with this painting. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my white again. And this time I don't have water, just paint. And I'm going to come around and create a much more bold lip here, especially the front part, and also highlight down the sides. So this is where we're really just fine tuning that champagne flute shape like so and having that nice clean white should really make the shape pop okay, very nice we'll go ahead and do the other side as well and then we'll add some highlights and that will be our little piece de la resistance okay just like so I want this to be clean white rather than having any of that champagne color. You do want to go as straight as you can with those lines. Just like so. Very nice. This definitely makes me want to pop the champagne and enjoy glass. Okay, and then a couple little shine marks here on the glass itself, just like so. Little curved brushstroke along the rim and then down the kind of shape there. Okay. And then also we have another one coming right up along the other side. Like so to create some shininess there. And then with even just a tiniest little bit of white on my brush, just a few more little shine marks. to help us see that foreground. There we go. Okay, super cute. And that is actually all that we have. That was such a simple painting uh, and really fun for couples to do for a New Year's activity. So I do hope that you enjoyed painting along today. Let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Oh, and if you are painting along today, I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club. That's designed for my students to share their work, whether it be from painting along with me or just from your own imagination. We'd love to have you join us over there. And that is all I have for everyone. So have a very happy new year. And until next time, stay creative.